Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to PMDC online lecture room. I am Associate Professor Amir Shahzad. The topic which I am going to explain today is the Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law actually explains the basic interaction between the point charges. And Coulomb was the first man who actually for the first time explains the interaction between the charges mathematically. The statement of the Coulomb's law is the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and is inversely proportional to the square distance between them. So why before going into further detail we must know what are point charges. If the distance between charges is greater than their sizes, the charges are said to be point charges. They are also called localized charges. So if we have two charges Q1 and Q2 and they are separated by a distance R, then with we can express this statement mathematically as f is directly proportional to q1 q2 and f is inversely proportional to r square dear student you must know why why there is square on r it is because of a law which is called the inverse square law electrostatic force and the gravitational force. Both forces obey inverse square law and we can see square on R in both these laws of these forces. So if we combine relation number 1 and relation number 2 we get F is directly proportional to Q1 Q2 over R square. F is equal to K Q1 Q2 R square. In this equation we have replaced the proportionality sign with the equality sign and with a constant K where K is the constant of proportionality and commonly this constant K is known as the electrostatic constant or the Coulomb's constant. Its value actually depends on two main factor. Number one the unit of system of units which we have used for measuring charges q1 q2 and the distance r and the medium between the two charges in case of system international used and air or vacuum between the two point charges the value of k in system international is given by k is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon r here epsilon naught is called the permittivity of free space its value is 8.85 multiplied by 10 power minus 12 newton meter square over coulomb square this constant will be replaced by another constant if we change the medium because as we have stated earlier that the value of k depends on the medium between the two point charges. So in if we write the Coulomb's law in vector form, we get f is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon r q1 q2 over r square with a unit vector r where unit vector r is a vector which shows the direction of the force and if we write the Coulomb's law for dielectrics, we will get F dash is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon Q1 Q2 over R square with a unit vector R. Epsilon is the constant for the dielectric medium. Dielectrics are actually the, the materials which are essentially insulator, but if these insulators are put inside an electric field each of their atom will become dipole electric dipole so if we compare the 
equation number 3 and equation number 4 we will finally get the result f is greater than f dash which means that the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is greater when medium between them is air or vacuum then the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges when medium between them is some dielectric that is dielectric reduces the force between the two point charges so the example of uh, the uh, coulomb interaction you can uh, see in the hydrogen atom in hydrogen atom uh, or in any atom uh, electron and proton exist and they attract each other and this interaction can be explained with the help of Coulomb's law. Inside the nucleus of uh, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, protons are there, they are repelling each other and this repulsion can be explained by using the Coulomb's law. But why these why, why these uh, nuclei are stable in spite of repulsion between the proton they are stable because of a strong nuclear force whose magnitude is much much greater than the Coulomb's repulsion the Coulomb force is a very strong force and this is the reason why the uh, boiling points and melting points of ionic compounds are higher than the uh, covalent compounds. The assignment uh, for you uh, students is to find the force of attraction between proton and electron in the hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atom is actually the very simple uh, atom and uh, if the distance between the proton and electron the hydrogen atom is taken as one picometer this is very simple um, statement of the uh, assignment uh, you can see actually um, one picometer is the only information given and such type of uh, question are very important uh, in case uh, 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 keeping in view the uh, paper examination paper Pro charge of proton charge of new electron you will use but uh, they are not given uh, but you know it uh, you must know it so find the force of attraction between proton and electron in the hydrogen atom if uh, they are separated by a distance one picometer thank you very much dear sir